A new local nonprofit is giving displaced girls a place to recover and heal. Please watch this important story. November is National Runaway Prevention Month. Each year, nearly 1.5 million children and adolescents leave their home unaccompanied. According to studies at the University of Chicago, young people most often run away due to family conflicts, abuse, or neglect. They often fall into the hands of someone professing love to them. Their home situation is so tumultuous and so unstable that having a 35-year-old boyfriend who says they love you and will take care of you as long as you do these other things may seem in a survival mode better than what's happening at home. That's not just an older boyfriend. It's child trafficking. Executive Director Julie Wade tells us it's not foreign children either. These are Chatham County girls. There's a misconception these are international girls or coming in on the container ships, but these are our girls living in incredibly vulnerable situations, highly susceptible to manipulation and control, um, and they are moving in our community, and they're not being controlled by being locked in a room, but through manipulation, threats, drug addiction, those kinds of things. I asked Julie what are some of the signs that citizens can look for to help spot a victim. And things to look for if you know a young person, um, a sudden change in behavior, all of a sudden they're sleepy during the day, they all of a sudden have new phone and hair and seem to have come into some um, excess items. Um, sometimes you might see a, a young person kind of under the control of an older person who won't answer for themselves, won't make eye contact. The average age of a victim is 14. According to the World Population Review, four in every 100,000 people in Georgia are human trafficking victims. And the entire state has a total of 55 shelter beds for these minors, none of them being in Chatham County. Thankfully, that's about to change. We're developing a 12-bed residential facility for survivors of human trafficking girls aged 12 to 17. This month, Pharaoh's Place will open its doors to survivors of child trafficking. The facility will be staffed by licensed professionals to provide trauma-informed care to girls ages 12 to 17. Being a teenage girl is hard these days anyway, and with this added victimization and trauma, so we will have a highly trained staff. Um, we'll have uh, two staff members on at all times, 24-7, 365. Um, we have a case manager who has a master's in social work. We're working with our local therapy community. Um, and again, in a year's time, I really think you can get at some of those underlying issues the facility offers everything you'd see in a typical home, plus 12 private suites, shared living space, a beauty salon, and even a classroom. It was designed in part by SCAD's Design for Good initiative. Julie knows the road will be long for some victims, but she also knows they need a place to start. Theros place. We're here to help them rehabilitate and heal, and then also figure out the next steps for them.